hearing the explanation of Vedanta Sutra from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the Mahavadi Sannyasi of Banaras. Uh, there are two kinds of Mayavadi. The word Mayavadi is very significant. I, I saw yesterday in your Ishtagasti, you have tried to understand what is this Mayavadi. Mayavadi means materialist. Uh, maya, this matter, uh, the external energy, the inferior energy, and those who want to stick to this inferior energy, never mind uh, what class of philosopher, what section of philosopher they belong. Uh, if that uh, idea is only within the boundary of this material energy, they are called māyāvādi. They have no information of the spiritual energy. They are called māyāvādi. So chiefly the impersonalist and the void philosophers, they are called māyāvādi because they have no other information. They want to simply uh, negate, nullify, but they have no uh, positive information. Uh, they are called maya. So the Sankarites, uh, Sankarites, of course, they give positive information. Brahma, Satya, Jagan, Mitha. They say that this world is false. And Brahma is uh, reality. But uh, uh, because we want reality in variety, therefore impersonal philosophy, although we take it uh, as a matter of sectarian uh, philosophy, it does not appeal to the heart. Because by nature uh, we want enjoyment. And whenever there is question of enjoyment, there must be variety. Uh, variety is the mother of enjoyment. So philosophically or theoretically we may accept hardness, negation, out of frustration when we are frustrated in these material varieties. Uh, we adopt the suicidal policy. Uh, let me commit suicide, finish. Uh, this is called mayava. Actual spiritual <coughs> variegatedness, unless one is informed about it and one is situated in spiritual varieties, there is no satisfaction. So the mayavadi philosophers of Banaras after hearing the explanation of Vedanta Sutra from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they are very much satisfied. Shei haite sannyasi firegalamo. Their mind turned. Oh, this is the real explanation. Krishna Krishna nam sadakare ground. Now they also began to chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Ram. Eimat is tasavar khami aparat sabakare krishna nam karila prasad. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, excused all these offenders. Uh, anyone who is godless is offender. Uh, so when they chanted Krishna Krishna and accepted, the Vedanta philosophy, according to the explanation of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he excused them. That is the significance of Lord Chaitanya. He is very merciful. He excuses. Without excuse, how he can deliver the fallen souls of this age? Their condition is very precarious. 
or their duration of life is very small and oh, they are not very intelligent, very slow to understand their importance of spiritual life, and even they are a uh, little advanced, they are under the clutches of so many so-called bogus societies, so therefore their condition is very precarious, and so there is no other alternative than to excuse them. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu excuse them. Tave shakal sannyasi Mahaprabhu ki laiya bhikkha korilen sabe madhya vasaya. Then all the sannyasins are placing Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in the middle, uh, and according to Indian system of dining, you are accustomed, they sit in a line. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was requested to sit in the middle, and thus they took prasadam. Tabi Shakal Sannashi Mahaprabhu Kilaya Bhikkha Kuri Lain Sabi Madhya Vasai. Bhikkha Kuri Mahaprabhu Ailo Vasaghar Anuchitra Lila Kari Gauranga Sandha. So after taking prasadam, he came back to his place and uh, for him it was a great victory that he conquered the mind of the Mahavadi Sannyasi by explanation of Vedanta Sutra. So uh, he is, uh, I mean to say, friend Chandrasekhar, uh, Chandrasekhar and Tapan Mishra and Sanatana Goswami, they were very much pleased. Uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had only three or four followers at Banaras. Of course, when he was on the street, uh, hundreds and thousands of people gathered around him. But actually, uh, in his residence, there are three, four followers only. Tapan Mishra, Chandrasekhar Acharya, Sanatana Goswami, and one Maharashtrian Brahmin. Uh, they were very much pleased. Naturally, their Lord was victorious in that great assembly of sannyasi, and naturally they were very much pleased. Prabhu ke dekhite aila sakal sannyasi prabhur prasang sakare sab bharanasi. Naturally, he attracted the attention of many other sannyasi and they began to come and see him and offer their respect. And throughout the whole city of Banaras, his uh, name was immediately advertised, though such a great sannyasi has come. Uh, he has explained Vedanta Sutra in a different way, which has captured the mind of all other Mayavadi sannyasi, uh, because Banaras is a city of pilgrimage. It is not ordinary city. Mostly the person who reside in Banaras, they are retired life for cultivating spiritual consciousness, but they are uh, almost ten percent impersonalist. Prabhur Prasangsakari Sava Baranasi. Baranasi Puri Aila Sri Krishna Chaitanya Purisha Sarva Khaila Mahatanna. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu visited this city of Mahabadi Sannyasi. By his mercy, all of them became glorified. Lakha Lakha Loka Ise Prabhu ki dekhite Mahavir Haila Dare Nare Prabhishite. So many thousands of people gathered before his house and they wanted to see him, but due to the crowd, uh, some of them could not enter into the house. Then Prabhu Jave Jana Vishya Sar Darshane, Lakha Lakha Loka Asimile Sahistana. But uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to go to the temple of Vishyesha at Banaras. Uh, the most famous temple is Vishyesha. 
there is Lord Shiva's temple. Uh, because this place, Banaras is the place of Lord Shiva. Just like Vrindavan is the place of Lord Krishna. Ajodha is the place of Lord Rama. So there are different places in India. So Banaras is the place of Lord Shiva and is known there as Visheshwar. It is very old city. It is it is uh, the Kashi. The real name is Kashi, and uh, it is coming from the Satya Yuga. Uh, it is not new city. It is very old city, Satya Yuga. There, uh, Maharaj Harishchandra. Uh, he was the king of this, and Harishchandra uh, happens to be previous to Lord Ramachandra. So it is very uh, old city. Vishyasar Sane. Snan Kurita Sabi Jan Ganga Jabi Gan Ganga Tide Tahai Shakali Lopaya Mahavide. So when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu goes to the Ganges to take his bath, and after taking bath he used to visit the temple of Vishyasar in the morning. So at that time uh, hundreds of people gathered around him. Bhavutule Prabhu Vale Bala Hari Hari Haridhani Karelo Sarkamatta. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's uh, special feature, as you see in the picture, he would simply raise his hands and ask anybody uh, to chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. And the people will in the crowd they will also uh, respond to Lord Chaitanya. So in this way, at Banaras, he was enjoying. Bahutuli Prabhu Vale Vala Hari Hari Haridhani Kare Lok Sargamatta Hari. And the sound of Hare Krishna, Hari Vo, that becomes. Uh, there are two uh, slogans. One Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, and another short is Hari Vo. Hari Vo. Uh, you can practice also that. Hari Bo. Yes. Hari. There is a shortcut of Hare Krishna. Uh, yes. Hari Bo. Hari Bo means the sound of Hari uh, or the Lord. Hari Bo. So, and uh, whenever there was some greeting, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to answer, raising his hand, Hari Bo. Bahutuli Prabhu Bale, Bala Hari Hari, Haridhani Kare Lok, Sadka Matta Hari. Lok Nishtarya Prabhu, Chalita Hari Lamaan, Vrindavane Pathaila Sri Sanatam. Now, and, the, and at this time, Sanatam Goswami arrived to see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu after retirement from his government service. So, he taught him for two months about uh, the science of devotion uh, and the principles of uh, devotion. Uh, we have discussed to, to a certain extent, and we shall again discuss. Uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu taught personally Sanatana Goswami what is Krishna, uh, what is Krishna, what is Krishna consciousness. What is the position of the living entity? What is this word? All these things he has very nicely uh, taught Sanatana Goswami. And Sanatana Goswami and Rupa Goswami, these two brothers are authorities of the uh, disciple succession of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So, Lok Nishtarya Prabhu Chalita Hailamon Vrindamane Pathaila Sri Sanatana. Now, after teaching Sanatana Goswami, he asked him that you go to Vrindavan because he was returning to Jagannath Puri. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu authorized, you have seen the picture of Vrindavan in that catalog. What is that book you have brought from library? No, that's all right. Oh, you have forgotten your book? Library book? Eh? 
Oh, who brought that book there? It is lying in my room, apart. Anyway, there is a picture of uh, Vrindavan. That picture, there is a temple. This temple, this temple was first constructed by Ishanatam Goswami. That is the oldest temple in Vrindavan, uh, not less than 500 years old. Uh, and it was desecrated uh, by the uh, Aurangzeb, Emperor Aurangzeb. So then another new temple is now constructed where uh, Madan Mohan is residing. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, authorized Sanatana Goswami to go uh, to Vrindavan and excavate the city. Uh, before Lord Chaitanya, the places of pastimes of Lord Krishna was forgotten. People know, knew only that uh, in these quarters Krishna uh, was born and he, uh, his pastimes was played here. But no particular places were excavated. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, after Chaitanya Mahaprabhu sent Sanatana Goswami, the importance of that tract of land known as Mathura Vrindavan became very important. Uh, uh, he, the importance of that city is due to the Sanatana Goswami, because Sanatana Goswami was authorized to go there and establish temple. So after Sanatana Goswami and Rupa Goswami, hundreds and thousands of temples were constructed and there are at least five thousand temples now after Sanatana Goswami. Ratri Divase Loke Sunikula Hall, Varanasi Chari Prabhu, Aila Nila Chal. At Banaras, he was overcrowded with persons always. Uh, there was tumultuous sound, Hare Krishna, and uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu left Banaras and came back to. Uh, Jagannath Puri. Uh, Jagannath Puri and Banaras is uh, not less than about 800 miles distance. So in those days there was no railway, no other conveyance, uh, conveyance but Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had to travel uh, through the jungles and uh, he came back to Jagannath Puri. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu thus came back and the author says that after this incident we shall discuss in another chapter about the activities of Lord Chaitanya and so far his Banaras visit was concerned, and uh, this is the end. Hey, Panchatattarupe Sri Krishna Chaitanya Krishna Lam Prem Diya Vishya Kailatana. In this way, Panchatattva, these five pictures you have seen, uh, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Adyaita Gadadhar Sri Vasadi Gaur Bhakta Vinda, uh, they inaugurated these uh, movement of Krishna consciousness. 500 years before, and it is uh, predicted here that this movement will sanctify the situation of the whole world. He has already uh, impregnated this seed, uh, just like Thakur Bhakti Vina said, in 1896, he sent the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's message to McGill University, that book we have seen, the letter was there. And these are coincidences. Now after so many years, a servant of that disciple succession has come here again to preach. So these things are and significant. Uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu practically 
So on the seed of this Krishna consciousness, and it is spreading, and it is sure it is spread. Uh, now it has come to your country, and I am sure the students who are taking very seriously about this moment, uh, they, they will spread in the Western world. <coughs> so, Mathurāde Pathāyala Rūp Sanātana. Now this is uh, incidental that Chaitanya Mahāprabhu sent Sanātana Goswāmī to Vrindāvan and other and Goswāmī, Rūpa Goswāmī, Mathurāde Pathāyala Rūp Sanātana Dvi Sanāpati Kaila Bhakti Prachāra. Oh, Sanapati means these two brothers, Rupa Goswami and Sanatam Goswami, were appointed as the commander in chief. Ah. Commander in chief in this fighting with Maya. This Krishna consciousness means it is declaration of fighting with Maya. Ah. Maya is killing all the poor conditioned souls. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu declared war against Maya by uh, spreading Krishna consciousness. And uh, the, uh, and the mm-hmm. commander-in-chiefs are Rupa-sanātā. In other words, uh, if anyone wants to be expert in Krishna consciousness to fight with Maya, they must follow the principles of Rupa Goswami and Sanātana Goswami. There is a very nice song and uh, sung by one poet, Vaishnava poet. Uh, he is singing like this. Uh, Gauranga valite have pulaka sari, uh, hari hari valite nāyane bhave ni. Uh, he is aspiring that when I shall uh, loudly call Lord Chaitanya, Gauranga, Gauranga is Lord Chaitanya, and uh, my the body will be shivering. And when I shall chant Hare Krishna, or tears will flow down from my uh, eyes. Gauranga valita hari pulaka sharir, hari hari valita nayana bhavani, arkavi nitai chant karuna karida. And when I shall be favored by Nityananda Prabhu, arkavi nitai chant karuna karida. Samsara vāsana mahar kāve When I shall be detached from material enjoyment. Viśaya chāriya kāve suddha have And when I shall be detached from this material enjoyment, my mind will be purified. My mind will be free from all contamination of material dirty things. Kāve hama herava sivindhavan. And at that time it will be possible to see Vrindavan. Rupa Raghunatha Pade Hari Vyakuti. Now here the uh, author, I mean the, the singer says that when I shall be too much uh, devoted, uh, I shall be too much devoted to the principles of Rupa Goswami, uh, uh, so that I will be able to understand what is the pastimes of Radha and Krishna. In other words, if we want to understand Radha and Krishna and Chaitanya philosophy, then we should uh, try to follow uh, the instruction left by Rupa Goswami and Sanatana Goswami. They are the commander in chief in this movement. Nityananda Goswami Pathaila Gurudasya. So Rupa Goswami and Sanatana Goswami, they were sent to Vrindavan. And Nityananda Prabhu was sent to Bengal that you go and preach there. Uh-huh. And in Bengal, this Chaitanya philosophy is taught by Nityananda Prabhu and his disciplic succession. Apane Dokindesh Kurila Gavan, Grame Grame Kurila Krishna Nam Prachara. And he himself went to the southern part of India and he preached this Krishna consciousness from village to village, town to town. Setu Vanda Pajanta Kaila Bhakti Prachar, Krishna Prem Diya Kaila Shavar Nistar. Setu Vanda means Cape Covering. Uh, she went out to Cape Covering. 
and and not so northern india and are to vrindavan i do, i do not know he went to the punjab side but up to vrindavan delhi and beginning from delhi up to the practically the whole length of india he traveled through maharashtra and other provinces <coughs> krishna prem diya koila sabanista so practically the whole of india was surcharged with this krishna consciousness during the uh, starting of this movement in india by chaitanya mahaprabhu ei to kahira pancha tatter vyakhan yahar sabane hai chaitanya tatva gyan now the author summarizes that these are some of the activities of lord chaitanya and one who will hear these activities he will be elevated uh, in krishna consciousness and the philosophy of chaitanya maha sri chaitanya nitananda advaita tinjan sivash gadadhara dijato bhaktavan now the author amli presents himself that lord chaitanya sri krishna chaitanya prabhu in these five personalities uh, I offer my respectful obeisances unto the feet of these five personalities. Jai Chaitanya Chaitanya Kohi Kichu Chaitanya. Therefore, if I have got uh, faith in these five personalities, then it will be possible for me to describe something about Lord Chaitanya. Because he is writing this book, it is description of Lord Chaitanya. So he is humbly presenting himself. before this is a uh, bhakti marg uh, he is not uh, proud that he is very learned man he can very uh, nicely comment or uh, no he is just trying to follow the footprints of his predecessors this is the way of uh, desire of succession siro prabhunath pade jare ash chaitanya chaitamrita kahe krishna das He is summarizing at the end of each chapter. He says, "My respectful obeisances is un- are unto Rupa Goswami and all other Goswamis, so that I may be able to describe the activities of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu." Thank you. Very much.